In South Africa, we've gone through the Bantu education, which was an education that was designed specifically for suppressing the potential of black people. And when we moved into political freedom, and we so called ourselves we are in democracy, we inherited this education system, as flawed as it, as it was. And we needed to find ways of changing it, because we saw so know very well that the education system that we're living in, and we're living in, could not be sustained because it was designed for a wrong purpose, that of suppressing potential of humans. But unfortunately, through that process, we've continued to rechange and redefine various education systems and try to adapt them in various elements to an extent that at one point at the end of the day, we're still unable to create a solid education that gives what Bantu education removed from black people, which was empower, give him the potential he was denied. To actually become a complete human being that understands the things that goes around himself and is curious to actually investigate what the environment he lives in, that human being must actually read. He must seek an understanding of the environment in which he lives around in order to find solutions of how he can actually conquer them and make his life better. Now, reading does give a human being the opportunity to actually find and to understand and to seek the meaning of what the environment he lives in do or is all about. As I have pointed to you, my mind tells me that there is a problem with the education system in South Africa and it's big. Mm. And given that the, the problem with the education system, young people not, are not, as a, not willing to read. What do you think the challenge for them, or what makes them not liking the culture of learning, what motivates them? What's your favorite? One has to actually look and refocus back in what education in itself is all about, and make that being relevant to a black person. For the black person who was educated under the Bantu system, who before that was not in a school system because we reinvented the education system in the first place. Now, you take that person, you introduce that person to a system, and then you say to him, I'm going to teach you how to write, I'm going to teach you how to read. And I'm going to give you these skills in order for you, in order to go forward. Now, all of a sudden, there's something wrong which you actually did. You bring to that young person an education that does not make that person have an understanding of the meaning of what education is all about. Neither do you help that young person to seek and to understand an environment around him. Do you then expect this person again to be passionate about reading, to be passionate about education? It's really something that somebody needs to actually look at it very hard and say that because of the system that is not working from its core, that somewhere, somehow, even the education it is all elements. Even the young people who are no longer interested in reading have a reason to not be interested in reading. Mm. For that reading is what was the purpose they were taught to actually go and read for? Mm. What kind of education would you engage in 
which you are going to be told you have certificates, you have degrees, but you are unemployed. You have unable, you are unable to earn an income, but you are an educated person. Now, you try then to ask yourself this simple question. If education is about and somebody seeks it in order to put food on the table. What then is its use if I'm going to go through it and at the end of the day still earn nothing? After all, we all know it takes 12 years to go to South Africa, through South African education system just to earn a matric. 12 years of your life, you invest in it. And at the same time, you take some additional years, which put it 15 years of education system and getting schooling. And at the end of the day, you have to ask your mother to feed you. After you endure this long years, this long period. I think young people are really not stupid. I think they can see that as much as the people who invented education, and as much as they promote education, giving bursaries, giving whatever they give, young people come to see what's the use of this education am I getting? If at the end of the day, I'm going to join those who are also unemployed. So would you say that right if they do not ready? Not necessary. Not necessary. I would say that unless a young person gets an understanding of what is education, what is skilling, what is this training you go through under the system, and then we examine one important element. In the environment that you live in, for example in South Africa, you got people who live in rural areas, you got people who live in suburbs, and you also have people who live in townships. These groups of people live in different environments. How much are these institutions who they go through actually look into that person and say, if we are intending to actually teach that person to survive, in the environment he lives in, how much then does the institutions who teach that person really look harder, really indeed focus, really indeed rechange their program in order to ensure one that this person gets prepared to live and to succeed in his environment. Again, if young people do understand and are interested in seeking understanding of the environment that they live in so that they will acquire skills that allow them in order to actually be able to be successful in the environment they live in, somebody needs to guide them in acquiring the right books to read.